So I'm going to be demonstrating um, several soft tissue techniques for the neck um, and the tricep. The first one I want to use is the uh, Theracane. It's going to be on the upper trap and the levator. You want to pinpoint the tip of the Theracane and kind of push down, kind of you know, move them back and forth. Very small movement, kind of just tracing down the slope of the shoulder like so. This is more of the upper trap. As I kind of get deeper towards the edge of the shoulder blade, the top part, you can get more of the levator. And you can go all the way up. I wouldn't do it any more for, than maybe one minute, two minutes max. And I know you're more familiar with the upper trap. Next, for the cervical, um, you mentioned that your Theracane or the alternative has these kind of nods. Um, so I kind of loop mine here. My hand goes here, my hand goes here and I slide it behind me, and that nod, nodule right here, I put it to my cervical spine. I'm not going onto the bony part, but the soft tissue on the left side, and I'll kind of turn around and show you, but I try and relax my elbows and kind of let my, the weight of my arms push into it, like so. I'm doing this pretty gentle, because this is, I think for me at least, a more tender area, and you can kind of you move with a Theracane, move down, move up, depending on your tenderness. And you know, a minute or two is all you need to kind of spend uh, doing the whole area. Next is the sternocloid mastoid, um, the band that we talked about that's on the side of the neck. So I kind of turn my head and it kind of pops out right here. So if you go just below the ear, the band starts there. I take my fingers, I mentioned it like a, a key grip, and I take that muscle and I pinch it. Hold it for a little bit, move down and pinch. Move down and pinch. Down and pinch. As you get further down, closer to like the bottom part of your neck and clavicle, it kind of spreads out and becomes less of a defined kind of band so it might be a little harder. The easiest part is kind of between your chin area and the ear. I can trace that very nicely again. A minute or two on that area is all you need. Again, it's this band that comes down right here. Next. You can go into the tricep, so I can take your two fingers, three fingers, and you kind of, you know, if you wanna put some lotion, just so there's less friction, it really doesn't matter, you don't need it. And you're kind of just digging into your tricep region right here and kind of just moving side to side, looking for any kind of tender points. You know, I just stay in the distal third of the uh, arm and that tricep region, that's kind of where the, we're looking for that, any kind of ulnar nerve impingement and kind of just following it down. Um, I mean, you can go into that, your ulnar nerve goes in this area region right here. Um, just for the sake of this though, we'll stay away from that. I don't want to cause any irritation, so we'll just stay on the muscular area, the distal part of the tricep right here. And then you can go into the ul ulnaris muscle right here and kind of just pushing. And on this one, I'm kind of moving side to side and you can do a longitudinal too. Uh, but side to side usually is the easier to do um, and you're kind of just loosening up that area again possible impingement site for that uh, ulnar nerve. And you can also do the same um, going into the bicep up here. If there's any restriction where the median nerve comes out, I kind of get the distal third of this too, kind of coming down and just moving side to side uh, on that bicep region. You can cross the elbow a little bit. This area might be a little more tender because the nerve and other structures are a little more exposed, but you know, they're pretty robust. And as long as you're not digging down as hard as you can, just listen to your body. You can kind of loosen up that area too and move down into the front of the forearm. Um, you know, you do have that predator uh, that comes around here. And if you want, you can kind of trace that down this region too. Again, it's kind of the front of the forearm closer to the elbow.
those are the reasons I would target with the soft tissue. And again, one to two minutes on either 